And then speaking of the guy who has an incredible relationship with Josh Allen, we know this because Josh Allen was a major advocate for him to get this position. Ken Dorsey promoted to Bill's offensive coordinator. As soon as Dable left for the Giants, the Bills really wasted no time. Only a couple days in between Dable leaving and Ken Dorsey being promoted to offensive coordinator. I think a lot of people saw this coming. The Bills did interview outside of Ken Dorsey. They took a look at wide receiver coach from the Ravens, T. Martin, as well as wide receiver coach from the Raiders, Edgar Bennett. But it seemed inevitable throughout the Bills community that they were going to promote Ken Dorsey. Sean McDermott came out and said that Josh Allen would play a major role in the decision uh, the Bills would make for offensive coordinator, and it clearly seemed like his guy was Ken Dorsey. Uh, and that's, that's who they wind up going with, um, you know, right after the, uh, the, the loss to the chiefs in the divisional round, you know, Josh Allen was asked about the situation and Josh Allen said, I think every quarterback would love to be a part of that process. And I do know there's a guy in the building that I'm a huge advocate of. And now when he says would love to be a part of that process, he means the hiring process. Of course, Sean McDermott came out and said, Josh Allen would be, a critical part in that process. Uh, and obviously he was, he was an advocate for Joe Brady. That's who he wanted as the OC and that's what wound up happening. So you love to see that, right? Y you see the dilemmas that are created when your quarterback, especially a quarterback with prominence like Josh Allen, you see the dilemmas that are created when that quarterback does not get a fair say or a fair say in the sense of what he thinks is fair. Aaron Rodgers, Russell Wilson, major issues, right? What's been the major issue for Aaron Rodgers and Russell Wilson the past couple of seasons? They felt like they did not have enough say. Now, Josh Allen's the type of guy, and he literally said this in, in, that, you know, in that interview. He said that it's not his decision to make. Obviously, he'd love to be a part of it, but it's not his decision to make. Now, you love to hear that, right? Because... That's, this is how it should be run. Sean McDermott wants the input from Josh Allen, not the other way around. Josh Allen doesn't need to demand the input like we heard Rodgers demanding or Russell Wilson demanding. It should just be given, right? If Josh Allen is as good as he is, and we know he is, if Josh Allen is the biggest element of your offense, which he is, he should have a say in how the offense is run. Sean McDermott recognized that, and clearly that's the direction that they went in. I love that approach. Why create an issue that's not there? And, and you're, do, you're doing it from the get-go, too, by the way, which is great. You know, Josh Allen, still a very young quarterback, and you're giving him say already. That just goes to show you the trust that they have in Josh Allen and, uh, and vice versa, the trust he has in uh, the coaching staff of the Bills to make the right choice to not only benefit him, of course, but in turn, benefiting him benefits the entire organization. So that, to me, is awesome. I love seeing that. Uh, but Josh Allen wasn't the only advocate of Ken Dorsey. I mean, it seems like a ton of offensive players for the Bills are a major, major fan of Ken Dorsey and him being promoted to OC. As soon as he was announced that the job would be his, Isaiah McKenzie took to Twitter and he said, quote, the Dorsey energy is unmatched on the sidelines. So love that. Apparently, Ken Dorsey's got some spitfire in him. Gabe Davis and Dawson Knox also took to Instagram to express their uh, excitement for the hire as well. And then uh, Diggs was asked about the hire, and he thought that it was crucial to keep the offense building. And he thought a big part of that was promoting in-house. And I love to see that, right? And that just that shows you a variety of different factors. One, you have the luxury of promote, promoting in-house when your coaching staff is doing a terrific job. I mean, how often do we see this happen? Not that often, because usually when you're looking to fill coaching vacancies, it's you're doing so because you're looking for a fresh start. The Bills lost Brian Dable because of how well of a job or how good of a job he's done over the last several seasons. And it just goes to show you how well structured the Bills are at this current moment, where they have the luxury of not even having to look outside the organization to promote to such a key spot. So I love that. And Deion Dawkins was asked the same question that Diggs was, you know, how do you feel about the hire? And Deion Dawkins said, quote, everything starts with the quarterback. And the fact that Josh Allen is the most comfortable with Dorsey, the rest will fall into place. I mean, think about that. I mean, that really 
is true. He said that uh, he said that Dorsey is already one step ahead as the OC because he already has a special relationship with the players. Think about that. When you're hired into a new organization, the hardest job most of the time is building that relationship, right? When you get the job, those guys have been there. The majority of them have been there for a while, right? The coaching staff has been there. It's your job to earn the trust, build the relationship. That's already in store. That's already locked in right now. All it is is a new title. All it is is a new job for Ken Dorsey. He's got the relationship with Josh Allen. He's got the relationship with offense. Hell, Deion Dawkins even said every time the Bills score, he sprints over to Dorsey. So to me, you know, do I know the in-depth analysis as to, hey, is Ken Dorsey the greatest offensive mind we ever see? Could he be, could he be the next guru for the Bills? That, I don't know. I'm not going to pretend like I know it. But I'm going to take the word of the guys who have played underneath of him. And if Josh Allen is advocating for him, if Diggs is advocating for him, if Deion Dawkins is advocating for him, I mean, what, what more do I need to look into? What more do I need to look at? That's the guy that should have the job. And that's what wound up being the case.